All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Monday, April third. This is gonna be our April. This is gonna be our MLB video. So I think that I'm gonna not do NBA videos until the playoff starts. Um, I did one last night just to see something. I put in one lineup just to see something. Don't you know it? One of my players got hurt in the first quarter. Fuck that. I don't need that type of negativity in my life. So I'm just gonna focus on baseball videos. If you need if you need NBA lineups, if you need if you need um NBA lineups, just check out the Patreon. There still is a NBA tier. Um, so um, if you you know if you're playing big money lineups or big money contests and you need help, just jump in the Patreon. But there's gonna be no more NBA videos until the playoffs because it doesn't make any sense. Um, and it takes a lot of effort for me to produce two videos. So if I'm gonna produce two videos. And then have the NBA fuck up on me and fuck up on us. It doesn't make any sense. So I'll just focus on the MLB. So we're going to start with DraftKings. We're going to start with Pitcher, as usual. We got Nasty. Nasty Nestor, they call him, against the Mets. I like I like Cortez, um, especially in the beginning of the season. You remember what he did last season. So Cortez is absolutely in play. Um, Morton. Morton is fine. You got to be careful with St. Louis Bats, though. Um, you got Mr. Gray. You got Berrios. I like Berrios on FanDuel because he, you can spend down on him a little bit. Now, Berrios, we know he's a little bit risky. All or nothing type of guy. Could give you 30 fantasy points. Could give you three fantasy points. We know how he do. But if you're paying up for bats, obviously you got to pay down for pitching. Um, early, early in the season, I'm going to be paying up for pitching. Because I'm seeing a lot of, there's a lot of value in the MLB right now. There's a lot, a, most of the batters are underpriced. And if you follow um, MLB DFS, you you already, you already, you have already acknowledged that a lot of batters are underpriced. So I'm just going to follow that, that uh, blueprint until further notice. Um, Barrios is in play. Brady Singer's in play. Walker's fine. Kind of, I, I kind of don't want to, um, challenge judge and Stanton right now neither so there's certain bats i'm trying to not um antagonize stay away from you feel me but um caprillion you could take a shot detmers he's okay rasmussen is fine kirby risky but we know that um Right now, I'll be honest with you, it's all a matter of lineup construction. You know, if you want to make, if you want to pick your bats and then make, you know, pick your pitcher or place your pitcher around your bats, you could do that. If you want to place your pitcher first and find bats, um, you could do that also. Because the, the thing is, the honest truth is, with baseball, especially for people that are not that um familiar with baseball. Any of these pitchers could get got any night. We know that. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's more lineup construction for me unless you have like a real ace, you know, on the mound. Um, I think for video purposes, I'm going to probably go with Nasty Nas or Nasty, um, we call him Nasty Nestor, whatever the fuck we call him. I'm going to go with him because of his strikeout upside for now. Um. Maybe later on when I update my lineups, another you know another pitcher would stand out to me. But right now I'm gonna just go for the upside of Cortez, throw him in there. Um, got Russman at catcher, fifty one hundred. Got Salvador Perez, AJ Melendez, AJ Melendez. What the fuck is his first name? MJ. That's what I meant. Um. You got Contreras in Seattle. Uh, we got my man Sean Murphy. So there's a few catchers that I like. Um, got Real Muto, which will be defeating the purpose because he's going up against the, the pitcher that I like. Now, if you if if you wanted to play Real Real Muto, obvi you will obviously play another um pitcher. So if you're playing lineups without uh, Cortez, you could you could get absolutely put in a little uh, Philly stack and hope for the best. But I I don't think I'm going to challenge Cortez early in the season. Um, let's pick up 
got Contreras against Morton. See, the thing is, you can't be scared of these pitchers when you're picking bats. You just got to look at the implied run total. You got to pick your balls up and just fire off the bats. So this season, I'm not going to be scared of pitchers. Um, Let's pick up Sean Murphy. I do like Atlanta anyway. So let's pick up Sean Murphy. Um, What else we got here? We got Marcus Simeon. We got Gleyber Torres. We got Ozzy Albies, who fucking disappointed me tonight or today. Um, You know what? Let's go back to Albies. I think that's what we're going to do. We got Donovan. Donovan has been amazing so far. Um, um, let's pick up Donovan. Let's pick up Donovan. Let's do, let's do, um, which is Goldschmidt? Goldschmidt is 5,300. Donovan, wow. All right, hold on. Let's just see something real quick. We'll come back to Goldschmidt. Let's look at third base. We've got Devers, Machado, Riley, obviously all in play. Riley's in play. I got Sean Murphy already. A little bit of a mini stat. Um, we got Arenado. We just stacking with Donovan. So many choices. Um, what else we got here? We got Bohm. We're not playing Bohm right now. Gorman, 3,200. Let's pick up Gorman at third base, 3,200. So we got Murphy. We got Donovan. We got Gorman. So let's pick up another Brave. Let's pick up another Brave and keep the mini stacks going. Uh, Judge, 6,400, absolutely always in play. Got Otani, obviously. Acuna, we got back to him. Betts is in play. Trout's in play. All these guys are all, all in play. Alvarez, Soto, um, Julio Rodriguez, absolutely in play at 5,600. He'll be at 6K. His price will be going up in a week or two, so um, just keep your eye on that. Um, Arizona. All these guys are absolutely in, pre in play. Well, what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put, let me see. Murphy. Let's see who we have on Atlanta. Let's see something real quick. Atlanta. We got Acuna. We got Michael Harris. It's 3,800. Let's pick, let's pick up Michael Harris. Save some bucks. Throw him in a little bit of a mini stack. So we got so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go with we're gonna go with Cortez. We're gonna go with Sean Murphy on Atlanta. We're gonna go with Michael Harris on Atlanta. We're gonna go with Brendan Donovan. And is this guy's name Norman? Nolan, I knew that. We're gonna go with Nolan Gorman from St. Louis. So um You know, nobody's overly priced. I'm leaving you a lot of room to find your pitcher. I'm finding you a lot of room to get a first baseman, a shortstop, and two outfielders. So don't say I ain't ever do nothing nice for you. Um, all right. So if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Absolutely appreciate it. Um, please subscribe. Hit the bell. Thumbs up. Now, listen, I know this is a little bit different from the NBA videos, but there's a lot of baseball players. I am not going over every single baseball player. I'm highlighting the pitchers that I'm interested in. I'm highlighting some of the batters I'm interested in and then some of the stacks that I've been thinking about um, for the slate. That's that's how we're going to do it for now. You know what I'm saying? If you need a more in-depth uh, player pool, if you want my exact lineups closer to lock, jump into Patreon, link in the description. And once again, if you need NBA plays or lineups, jump into Patreon, link in the description. Um. All right, so let's go to FanDuel. I got five guys picked out on I got five guys. Is it five? One, two, three. Yep, five guys. I'm right. We got five guys picked out on FanDuel. On FanDuel, I'm taking a little bit different approach. I'm going a little bit. Um, I'm paying a little bit down for pitcher so I can get my heavy bats in for FanDuel. Because FanDuel has a lot of value once you get close to lock. Because I could find 10 players under 2,800, 2,700 that are... Um, that are good plays. So right now I'm looking at Berrios. I'm going to, I'm picking up Matt Olsen. I'm playing Acuna 4,100. These guys are cheap. I'm going Devers and I'm going, um, Alex Verdugo at 3,400. So we got, uh, a little bit of a, a mini Boston stack on FanDuel and a mini Atlanta stack. 
And then we have Jose Barrios. Obviously, things may change. But these are the guys that I like so far. I absolutely like Boston. So on both DraftKings and FanDuel, if you get pieces of Boston in your lineups, just do it. I guarantee you they'll bring you home. Um, all right, I'm going to go on and get out of here. I know it's been a long weekend. Uh, once again, I appreciate you guys for watching. Please uh, subscribe, smash the like button if you want me to keep breaking down the MLB videos. And uh, any any questions, throw it in the chat. And um, I think I'm going to go on and get out of here. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Ciao.